welcome students now in this video we are going to see the types of chips so let us start with our first chip that is the discontinuous chip this continuous chip and we are going to see what are the factors that going to affect this discontinuous chip so sabse pehla kaun sa factor hona chahiye that is about the material so number one if you talk about the material so which kind of material is responsible for getting this discontinuous chip yes of course the hard and brittle material hard and brittle material we are going to get discontinuous chip okay then the second important factor that will have the discontinuous chip is that the lower cutting speed the lower cutting speed what will happen if we are putting or uh, having the low cutting speed in the operation so what happen because of this low cutting speed the time required for the chip to get curl onto the rake face will be maximum so if the time is more for curling say this is the rake face of the tool so if the and this is the chip so as the cutting speed is lower the time for curling will be maximum so the chip can be curled to the minimum radius so chip can be curled to the minimum radius so minimum radius means what bending of the chip is very high bending of chip is maximum isn't it so when the curling radius minimum the bending will be maximum so we know that again this produced chip is not the continuous one it is having so many voids so many cracks which are present inside that uh, chip and when we are curling this chip to the minimum radius what happen so bending will be there maximum and when the chip is bending so the present voids or crack are propagating easily so and the chip becomes discontinuous because of that enlargement of the cracks or voids propagating definitely the chip is going to cut it is going to break down or become discontinuous so in that fashion you can say the use of lower cutting speed is always give us in case of the hard material we are talking the discontinuous chip next if we use the smaller rake angles what will happen small rake angles small rake angles so we know that when we are using the small rake angles the cutting forces are going to be high as we know larger the rake angles will reduce the cutting forces reduce the power but as the rake angle goes on increasing what happen the cutting forces are going to increase and see that when the cutting forces are going to increase in the material so whatever the crack which has produced in front of the tip of the tool because of the higher amount of force it can easily get propagate onto the work surface say <sighs> this is the tool this is the work piece and this is the chip okay so if the cutting forces are more say this is cutting force fc then what happen this crack which is present in front of tip of the tool because of this smaller rake angle so because of that force this crack is going to propagate very fastly onto the surface of the work piece so of course if this crack is immediately coming onto the work piece definitely the chip that is going to produce is discontinuous so that's why the factor which can affect this uh, discontinuous chip is the small rake angle is definitely is going to give us the discontinuous chip okay and next if i talk about the larger depths of cut larger depth of cut so if i take the maximum depth of depth of cut in the metal cutting operation say here say i can have the depth of cut see here so this is my tool okay this is the machined part this is to be machined and this is in transient mode okay 
undergoing machining. So see, this is the value of depth of cut. So see, when the depth of cut is more, so the bulk which is present in front of the tip of the tool to get removed, it get increased. And to remove that much bulk or volume of this material, so definitely the large amount of forces are going to uh, be on the cutting edge of the tool, isn't it? And when the cutting forces definitely are going to increase in such a case, as you know, cutting forces goes on increasing, the crack propagation immediately com coming out on the surface of the tool, or surface of the workpiece, and chip get easily separate out. So it is favorable. Larger depth of cuts is going to give us the discontinuous. Okay, again. Next, if I talk about finally the fifth point, if I talk about the use of cutting fluids, use of cutting fluids. So what will happen if I use the cutting fluids? So definitely, as see in the metal cutting zone, the temperature is very, very high. And you know that maximum ch the temperature in this uh, generated heat because of the temperature which is generated heat is getting carried out by cheap only. 75 to 80 percent of heat gets carried away by this chip, produced chip. So, please remember at this higher temperature, so definitely chip is in the expansion mode. And if this chip is suddenly coming into contact with this coolant that we are going to use, so what will happen? There will be the sudden, sudden cooling of the chip. So, within a fraction of time, so the chip what which was at quite higher temperature is coming down to the uh, minimum initial minimum temperature because of the use of cutting fluid so at that point what will happen there is a quenching action isn't it and because of that whatever the cracks or uh, voids which are present in the chips are get enlarged and the chip become discontinuous isn't it so use of the coolant here also favoring which condition to get the chip discontinuous please remember because sudden exp expansion and then sudden cooling increasing the or enlarging the voids or cracks which are present in the chip and chip become discontinuous so dear students these are the important uh, factors that is going to affect actually the production of the chip whether it is dis discontinuous or continuous if discontinuous then what are the uh, factors how they are affecting please remember First condition, hard and brittle material should be there. Lower cutting speed should be used. Then small break angles should be used. Larger depth of cuts are again leading to this discontinuous shape and use of cutting fluids are also giving us the discontinuous shape. So this is about the discontinuous shape. Now coming to the continuous shape, okay? And we know that the continuous shape is again classified into two categories. I am talking about the continuous chip, continuous chip, again this is having two types, so I will discuss the type first, the continuous chip, continuous chip without, without built up edge. Okay, so we will discuss. Uh, these first factors which are responsible for getting this uh, continuous chip with built up edge we will discuss first first so sabse pehle kya aega? material kaisa hona chahiye? material is ductile okay material is ductile or soft then and then only we can get the continuous chip okay but here the continuous chip without built up edge okay so suppose in this uh, material with a ductile, ductile material I am doing this operation so to have the continuous chip without built up edge what is the important parameter I have to select here that is the cutting speed and how it should be if I use or choose the high cutting speed so what will happen with the high cutting speed so the speed with which the chip or the main chip or the microchips are getting out from the metal cutting zone the speed is also highest and there will not be there will be no time for the microchips to adhere or get welded on the rake face of the tool 
because of this high speed so no any built up edge is going to produce so we can get the continuous chip without built up edge when we are using the high cutting speeds because of the high cutting speed the micro chips are also thrown away or thrown out from the metal cutting zone very fastly no time to get this micro chip adhered onto the rake face you are getting the continuous uh, you are getting the continuous chip without built up edge next third point if you use the large rake angle so what will happen large rake angle will be there then there will be the point contact only between the tool and workpiece so the forces are very very less if the forces are very less so no any rise in the temperature isn't it so temperature will be in the control so we built up edges are not going to adhere onto the rake face of the tool and we are going to get the continuous chief without built up edge again same matter for the uh, less feed or less depth of cut also so less forces are there so less temperature rise and the chip that is going to produce is the continuous chief without built up edge here again if i write about the cutting fluids use of the cutting fluids so what is happen here if you use the cutting fluids so definitely the cooling of this metal cutting zone as well as the flushing of the micro chips or chips so there are no any chances to uh, to that uh, micro chips or small chips to get adhered onto the rake face of the tool so by using the cutting fluids also, fluids also we can get the continuous chip without built up edge okay so these are the some uh, factors which can give us the continuous chip without built up edge now the second type that is the continuous chip with built up edge with built up edge so what are these so sabse pehla jo aayega very importantly the strong adhesion strong no doubt the material is ductile there is uh common to both of this ductile material only then and then only we can going to get the continuous chip and in the second point here with continuous chip with the with this built up edge that is strong adhesion between the tool and workpiece material tool and workpiece material so this is very very important thing very very important factor that is going to give us this continuous chip with the built up edge when there is a strong adhesion between the workpiece material and tool material definitely there are huge chances of getting this built up edge then second if i have very low cutting speed low cutting speed of course time for this micro chips will be more to get added onto the rake piece aasani se kya ho jayenge wo rake face ke upar adher ho ke built up edge बना देंगे सो दिव विद बिल्ट अप एज वी कैन हैव अफकोर्स विद द स्मॉल रेक एंगल स्मॉल रेक एंगल्स मीन्स मैक्सिमम कटिंग फोर्स मैक्सिमम कटिंग फोर्स देन द माइक्रो चिप्स कैन बी इजीली गेट वेल्डेड ऑन टू द रेक फेस वी कैन गेट द बिल्ट अप एज इन दिस कंटिन्यूस चिप एंड फाइनली आई विल टॉक अबाउट इफ देर इज नो coolant or cutting fluid so definitely because of this excess heat the micro chips are going to adhere on to the rake face and we are getting the continuous chip but with the built up edge okay so these are the favorable conditions for the continuous chip with built up edge and without built up edge we have so many times liner questions are coming from this topic so note it down nicely thank you